<laughs> Hi guys! Hi! We're just popping on surprise! Um, we're busy filling orders today, but uh, while this one's cutting, um, Brittany's going to go ahead with a live. By the way, hello. We are the Shabby Chic Vintage Chicks. Um, I'm Angie and this is Brittany and we're in the beautiful Rideau Lakes, Ontario. And uh, we're just going to jump in and get this done. So, I'm just here to paint some backgrounds. And uh, Brittany's going to go through the live with you and I'll be kind of in and out because I'm doing cutting on the laser today. So here we go. Take it away. Okay. So we're doing the hashtag mom life tear tray set today. I don't know if it's labeled as a tear tray set because you could just put the pieces anywhere in the house, but it's designed for on a tear tray. So I've got all of our letters and words, all the finer details taped down to a board. It's just going to hold everything in place better as we paint it. It's not going to make it shift around on us. And we are using country chic paint today. We've got white for our simplicity. We've got raspberry sherbet and whoop de doo for our colors. And then we've also got our white and silver Posca. I don't know if we're going to need the white, but I thought the silver would bring in a little bit of a flash to it. So all I'm doing is using a sponge brush because I don't want to fill, or a sponge, because I don't want to fill in my engraving. And I'm just sponging on some paint. The important thing to do when you're doing this is to make sure you offload first so that you're not filling in your engraving. What color are you starting with? The raspberry sherbet. I'm doing the sorbet. Heart. Sorbet, sorry. I don't know what the difference between a sherbet and a sorbet is, but. <laughs> Hi, Nancy. Welcome from Minnesota. So, what's everybody up to today? We are busy filling orders. Cheryl, we have your order on the go. Hi, Christine. We have Cheryl's order on the go right now. We are cutting out her um, ice cream sign, which I love that sign. Me too. That's the one Brittany wanted to do right now. And I was like, no, I need to fill orders with those. We can't, we can't use one of those in the live yet. I wanted to steal one out of your order, Cheryl, so I could do it live. <laughs> but I'm in a hurry to get the orders out. But maybe I'll be able to steal one by the end of the day to take home and do live next week. If we get Cheryl's order done, yeah. If we get Cheryl's order done. <laughs> the wood seems to be soaking in a little bit of my white paint, so you have to go over spots sometimes. And I'm making a heck of a mess of my new silicone mat. <laughs> I need to get a new one. I bought this one because Maya is ruining my dining room table. <laughs> so I will say Posca's is a lot easier for these letters, but Posca's just weren't the colors that I was wanting to use today. I was wanting to use actual paints, but it does take a little bit longer than if I was to be Posca'ing all the letters. See, and I probably just would have sponged them. That probably would have worked too, but we only brought over one sponge. <laughs> and we're already in this, so <laughs> paint brushing it it is. So what's everybody up to? Cheryl's like, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Cheryl says you can steal one of hers as long as you pack it in her box after. <laughs> the finished one or a new one? <laughs> So even with the laser running like clear across the house, which is probably, I don't know, probably 45, 50 feet away, <laughs> I can still hear it humming. <clears throat> so as soon as that stops, I'll be running. Yep. Get the next layer going. You 
Usually you're more chatty. I'm in the room and you're not silent. I don't know why. I'm a little sleepy today. I haven't drank much of my caffeine yet. That must be my problem. I need caffeine. Which is pretty much literally what I'm writing. Mom needs coffee. But mom, this mom doesn't drink coffee. You don't drink coffee though. Either. I don't drink coffee either. Neither of these moms drink coffee. We should have changed it to say caffeine. Because <laughs> with you and your tea and me and my pre-workout, it's just straight caffeine that we want. And sugar. Pretty much. I run off sugar. You do. What did we figure it out as one day? Two cups of sugar a day is probably, probably what you're drinking? Yeah. That's a lot of sugar. That's not including the M&Ms that I throw in my face or... <laughs> That's just the sugar that goes into your tea. I didn't offload very well, so some of my uh, lines are filling in. Okay. You're just going to have to deal with that. Okay. So I just went in with the silver for my word needs. I'm wanting to place an order, but going away Monday for a couple weeks, so we'll not be here to pick up at the post office. That was Christine. Okay, Christine, here's an answer for you. Um, if you want to go ahead and place the order so that it's filled, you can let me know when you're coming back, and or you could tell me what day to ship it, and I just won't ship it until that day, but then it'll be faster than waiting till you get back and placing the order, and then um, having to wait for it to show up, just if you want. If that helps at all. Because if you know that you're coming home on a certain date, I can just ship it out like two or three days before that. Just to cut down on your time. And then you'll have happy mail when you get back home. Amazon! <laughs> Emma, we haven't chatted in so long. Nice weather's coming. I hope you're feeling better. I know winter's hard on you. Oh, that worked perfect, guys. Okay, so I kind of filled in my little line. So I just took one of my straight pins and I just dragged it right through there and it brought it right back. Nice. There we go. Do you want the tag done in that color as well? Yeah, I would just do all the backers in white for cohesiveness. Okay, and I hear Georgette has stopped. So you'll be back in a minute? Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna get this one done real quick and then I'm gonna run. Got to get that in order for Cheryl. <laughs> we figured with the two of us here, then we could multitask. So we might end up doing a couple lives today while one is cutting. The other one can run over here and maybe do a live. Show some of the new projects, maybe some of even the older ones. This one wasn't oh, the newest launch. Oh my gosh, guys. When I come back from the other side, if I don't forget, because, you know, menopause and Alzheimer's, um which is really not true. I don't have Alzheimer's, at least not proven yet. Um, but <laughs> old timers is what I call it. Um, if I remember on my way back, I am gonna show you what the surprise gift is, which won't be a surprise then, but I'm gonna show you what the gift is that's going in every package this week. If you want, you could even grab what might be in the giveaway this week that I brought. No, I think we're gonna wait on that. We're gonna wait to show that? Yeah, we gotta make sure that works before we True, that would be yeah. good. Okay, so I'm gonna run over. I'm gonna change out the words on Georgette while she's painting and chit-chatting with you. Um, I'm gonna try to remember to bring in the surprise. Nancy loves seeing the kits made. Oh, I'm glad you joined us, Nancy. Um, so yeah. Okay, that works for, for Christine. Okay, I'll be right back. Okie dokie. Hold down the fort. <clears throat> Will do. So I'm just continuing to paint. I'm still using the raspberry sorbet or sherbet or however you want to say it. <laughs> I filled in my coffee cup now. So I've got the bottom line done and now I'm on to the next line, which I think I'm going to switch over because I don't want too much pink. I wanted a little bit of a combination. So my mom and I have kind of a thing going where she's the teal and I'm more of a pinky color. So I wanted to bring in a little bit of both of those because we're both moms. So this set works for both of us. But I just wanted to 
have some bright colors because I know lately I haven't done as much bright. I mean the yellow and the orange and that bee stuff, that was pretty bright, but some different colors. Get away from the yellows and the oranges for a minute. And so I went with teal for mom and pink for me. So now I'm doing whoop de doo And yes, we're doing a lot of just painting right now, but the fun really comes when we start to put it all together. So did you guys like everything that we launched Wednesday? If you did, what was your favorite piece? If you didn't check it out, you definitely got to check it out. We launched, I think it was 11 new products on Wednesday. And there is some really cool stuff in there. Lots of farmhouse and some primitive. Just giving a little bit of difference from what we've been doing lately. Change it up a little bit. So what was your favorite piece from the new line? That ice cream sign. I'm not as much into the farmhouse. So this launch was definitely more up mom's alley than mine. But that ice cream sign. Definitely going to be my favorite. Connect. Oh, we're back. Awesome. Sorry about that, guys. So, I don't know if you guys were able to even hear my question. <laughs> oh, you were able to. Everything you guys can tell. <laughs> yes. But come on, there's got to be a favorite piece. What are you gonna, like, what's the first thing out of the box that you're like, oh, I cannot wait to get that painted? Cheryl, I saw your picture of your Be Kind Cutie done on the interchangeable round. It is so cute. I don't know if mom posted it on our page or anything, but it is now listed on the website it's one of the pictures that we chose to have as an example piece so if you guys check out that be kind cutie she did so good i love the little details on the words be kind i didn't put any details on mine so i love that i might go home and take a little posca and tweak mine when i get home because <laughs> that was so cute You need practice with your eyes. Honey, my eyes, I did redid like four times. So I feel your pain. The eyes are not an easy thing to get used to, but I think you did great. I really do. Welcome back. Hello, hello, hello. We had lost connection for a minute there. Oh no. Okay, so. Oh, wait, I missed something. I'll be right back. Okay. You guys are going to love this. I already told her that I'm taking some home with me. <laughs> it's pretty cute. Get my exercise. You are. Okay, so here's the surprise. First of all, if you got your bead tool like this, you're gonna want this. So I'm gonna take my ribbon and I'm gonna put it in here. And then I would put my beads on like so. Am I doing this right? Or the beads first and then, oh, it's the the beads first, then the string. All timers. Old. 
timers. I think it's offensive. I don't think you're allowed to say old timers. Well, it's not offensive when I'm talking about myself. I guess. I'm not offended. <laughs> okay, so anyways, you got your beads on there. And this is the freebie that's going out with everyone that's ordered. Well, as of last last night's orders that I'm filling. So, yeah. Um, I think Tina might have got one in her order, I think. Um, Cheryl will definitely have one, but it's this. Okay, guys? So if you ordered, what would you call this thing? That was the Don't Worry, Be Happy. Don't Worry, Be Happy Gnome. The shaker tag. Check this out. He's three wide. And he's, I don't know, a little over an inch tall. But he's got, I don't know if you can see that. He's got a hole down the center. So he's going to come in parts. And I'll do a live some other time showing how to do it. But you stick him on your bead threader. Can you see that? And then, I'm trying not to get paint all over my ribbon here. <laughs> I think your paint's mostly dry. And then you stick your ribbon through there. I hope I'm doing this right. Should have brought glasses. Okay, so then you stick your ribbon through that little metal loop. And you hold on to the other end. <laughs> or otherwise it was useless. But... Let me do him again. Just shake your head, Britt. <laughs> oh, I, head. I already did. Just shake your head. What am I going to do with her? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put that... Get it together. We're live, Mom. I know, right? Okay, so there we go. Now it's on. We're supposed to be the experts. And then you have a gnome bead, guys. It's a gnome bee bead. I thought he would be so cute on whoops now i'm dragging him through the paint i thought he'd be so cute on like tags or just farmhouse beads would be cute too see i can't thread a hole so i think we need to just sell some of those on the website oh i don't know just this beads. is pretty special this is for our customers that you know didn't expect to get something but they're getting something oh i know but i mean in the future like we could make lemon wooden beads Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This was just a, a, yeah. a quick try and That one, out. not specifically, but I think we need to start making so look at other that. ones. Isn't that a cute idea? Oh, my gosh. I know what I want on a bead. Okay, do you see it? Love it. But, yeah, if we did, like, citrus colors, you could have a lemon on there, too. But I couldn't resist. So, anyway, Cheryl, you'll be getting one in your order. I'll have to do a live on how to put it together, but... Isn't that cute? It's pretty simple, guys. It's not It's not rocket science. Heck, I thought of it, so. I was also thinking if we stuck another layer in between, we have straw toppers. Yes, I know. You check that out, like, immediately. She brought it to me, and I'm like, ooh, will this fit around my straw? Do you guys know what straw toppers are? Do you think they would know? I, don't, I didn't know what a straw topper was, so. Okay, so a straw topper is, like, shake that up because it looks gross. This is your tumbler. A straw topper is, like, basically a big bead with a big hole in it that you can drop on and it just sits cute on your tumbler. Because everyone needs to jazz up their juice. Oh, I do. I made this one. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's not sweat, it's pixie dust and it's got Tinkerbell on the back. That's what I do in my spare time when I'm not, you know, crafting for this page <laughs> and making cute cup loops and stuff. <laughs> not that I have a lot of spare time lately. <laughs> nope, we're trying to consume all that. Yeah. Okay. I'm going back. So what do you guys think of the BB? Good idea? Is anyone excited to get that in their order? I am. So I know, you didn't place an order. Um, <laughs> I know, I think Tina got one. If, if it was, I, I packaged up Tina's order last night, so I don't know if I made these after her order or before that order, but she'll order again and she'll get one. Um, <laughs> Cheryl is definitely getting one. I believe Deb's order is sitting over there. Verilyn is. Verilyn is getting one. Verilyn. So Deborah, yeah, is probably there. So yeah, you guys will be getting one of those beads. If Christine gets hers in, she'll get one. That's true. Yeah. So I don't know how long I'll keep going with them because they do take a little bit of time to cut because it's three layers. Um, and then that detailing. <laughs> and it's it's a little quirky because I couldn't figure out how to make two halves. It's quirky, okay? I had to, I have to jimmy around with these things to make them. Um, 
But it's probably safe to say anybody who ordered in orders from here out in April. Oh yeah, yeah, one. for the end of the week, yeah. 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 So if you order in April we from can... now on till April. Yeah. From now on till April. Because it wasn't a thing. Actually from now on till May. End of April. Right. Whatever. Yeah. By before the first May. <laughs> That's what we will guarantee. I ran Between out of flowers. And then. A few people got flowers, and now I think I'm out. I'd have to go up and look um, in my big chests of stuff, but I think I'm out of flowers to give out. That went on for, I think, six weeks. Um, so now I thought I would do these for a little bit. You know what? I You're going to be like, whoa, you're thinking way ahead, and no. But I'm just putting it out there. And if Wendy is watching this live, Wendy would jump up and down in agreement with me. Oh, Remember the Mickey Disney. pumpkins from back in the fall? As a bead. That would be so cute. <sighs> Wendy, if you're out there, you need to give a amen or something to that and be like, yes, that needs to be a thing. <laughs> we could do normal pumpkins too. Yeah. 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 But like our special Disney fans out there probably appreciate Mickey pumpkins. I know Karen would, Wendy would. Me, not so much. Deborah's ordered some Disney. Deborah would probably agree. Okay. I can tell you why I'm not getting good coverage. <laughs> I cut off the bottom of my sponge and can you see all those crevices? That's why I'm not getting good coverage. And it's kind of annoying me that I grabbed this sponge of all things. But there we go. I'm done my part. Okay. I just have a couple more words left. And I don't even know what color I'm doing them yet. I'm not that mom. So maybe mom in pink and the rest in teal? Um, sure. Or more silver. Because I've only got one silver piece in there. No, I'm happy with the the other way. Okay. I'm not even going to try and clean this up. I'll throw it in the sink after. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. I'm going to run back and check on orders. It was nice chatting with you. I will be back after to do something. I don't know what yet, but I'm going to jump back in after. Um, welcome, Nelda. Izzy's in the house. So, yeah, let us know if you like those beads. If you don't like those beads, I don't have to give you those beads, but I think they're cute. <laughs> They're free. They're free. It's a freebie gift. Yes. I can't imagine anybody not liking them. They're adorable. So we're almost done with the paint job. Almost. Oh, she didn't paint my bases. I didn't paint what? The bases. She's out. <laughs> She's bowing out. They're very cute. I agree. I'm excited about them. And no, I didn't place an order, but I did give her a shopping list this week of what I need for lives. So maybe it should be thrown in my shopping list. Friday, usually, so I've been coming out to work here every Friday for a couple months now. And uh, I think it's been a couple months. So basically Friday, the last like 20 minutes of while I'm here is, okay, what do I need to take home for lives? What paints do I need? What wood cutouts do I need? I think I need one of those beads. <laughs> for sure. It should be, right? <laughs> I think it counts. It's now on my shopping list for later. <laughs> Almost finished up here. 
And then I just got to paint those bases quick and then we can get into gluing this all together. Which is the exciting part is seeing everything come together. And there we go. Okay, so we've got all of our, oh, okay, that's not taped down there very good. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so we've got all of our words and our little details painted up. I'm gonna set that off to the side, get our bases painted. And you know what? I think my bases, I might just do in, I might just do those in silver. That'll tie in the rest of that silver there properly for me. So I'm just going to take the silver Posca and that'll make it even faster because we won't really have to wait on dry time for that. Give it a little bling. And then we can start attaching some pieces. Oh. I figured out my next slide. Ooh. We still have 13 minutes on the clock on that cut. So, Ooh. this will be my next slide. So, remember I gave you, me and Cheryl were just discussing this a moment ago. Okay. Remember I gave you a shopping list of things that I need to take home for lives? I didn't cut any of them. <laughs> well, Cheryl agrees that the, the bee bead should be included in it. Heck no, that's mine. That was my genius idea. I, I don't have to do it in a lot, but I, I do have a shopping list. There is a package leaving the house for me. <laughs> so. <laughs> we'll see. Cheryl agrees. See, it should be. It should be included. I don't know. She's not actually shopping, though. <laughs> shopping for what I need in craft supplies. <laughs> That seems to be the weekly occurrence. Okay. That's what I told This them. is what I'm going to do on our next live today. I, I love this one. I know farmhouse isn't your jam, but mm. I love this one. Not so much. So that is my plan. Um, I don't know what time it is. So sometime today we'll do that one. I'm onto the gluing. Program. You're onto the gluing? All, All right. right. I'm going to make a cup of tea and by then it should be uh, ready to switch boards. Oh, I need a needle. That's a dirty needle. So is that. Why do you need a clean one? I don't know. Do you really want fuzzies in there? I just pick them off with my fingers and then I jam it down there. Okay. <laughs> there we go. They get fuzzies on them because they have a tiny bit of stick fast and then I stick them back in my cute little hedgehog. <laughs> She shops like your girls. It, it's hereditary. I know it is because I remember my whole life going back and forth to mom's to visit and I never, ever came home with an empty car. <laughs> there was always something. If there was nothing in the house, then she was handing me like 20 bucks or whatever and be like, pick yourself up something sweet on the way home. I couldn't find anything this week. She was always, there was always something for me to take home. My husband's, husband's. Um, not at the same time. Um, <laughs> they always said, can you not go there and not bring something back? And I'm like, apparently not. That's what mamas are for. I shouldn't say that out loud in front of her, like plug her ears. But yeah, that's what mamas are for. Beads coming home with me, guys. <laughs> that's what I got out of that message is the bead is coming home with me. Winner, <laughs> winner. So I'm just gluing down my letters. The word needs does have a score line in there. I don't know why the word needs got a score line, but nothing else did. I don't know. But kind of gives you some direction on where to go. And then we've got our coffee. So again, if you're taping down your words like I have, be gentle when you pull them up because you don't want to snap your letters. If you do, it's not that big of a deal. You guys have seen me fix the letters probably 20, 30 times by now. So you should know how 
to fit them back together. It's just like a puzzle. They fit back in with a little bit of stick fast. But it's fixable, so don't don't panic. I feel like we should have just a little snippet video of how to fix a broken piece. Because every once in a while we get a message of how do I fix this? I broke it. So I feel like maybe I should make like purposely break something later today. Maybe I'll record a little video on how I glue it back together zoomed in so that way you guys can have something to refer back to. Mama needs coffee. Yes, she does. Okay, now we're gonna do the go ask your dad, which are you even a mom if you haven't had to say that once in your life? <laughs> Or heard it said. We could even go with heard it said. I know I heard it a lot growing up. I know my kids hear it a lot growing up. More so go ask your mom in our house. But go ask the other parent is definitely something that gets asked. And I stuck my finger right in that stick fast. I know better. I painted the wrong side of the word ask. No, my scoring is backwards. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. That's going to be a little weird. I painted my letter on the wrong side. So it's not my scoring is backwards. I just painted the wrong side of the board. So I'm going to let that dry and then I will come back and refill that in after. I don't know how I did that, but I did. So we got go ask. You know what I need? I need a couple of our new easel stands. I painted the wrong side of the, the Y as well. Okay guys, so a little lesson for you. You might wanna check which side of your letters you have to paint first. Because letters like the A and the Y, they could have gone either way and clearly I did the wrong sides. So check that first. Little lesson from Brittany. Check and make sure that you're doing the right side of your letters. Okay? Or you might be like Brittany and make a big mistake. Right? It happens. Everybody's gone so quiet. Mom left the room and everybody went silent on me. So I'm just going to let the stick fast on the back of this A dry before I go in and touch up that little paint job. Because that would be a big mistake. And then we have Mother of the Freaking Year. I'm going to get that one glued on. Mommy? Nope. She must be over on the laser side. I thought maybe she was just over around the corner, but nope. You've done that before, painted the wrong sides of the letters? Yeah, I, I'd say I've done it a few times, that's for sure. So don't be like Brittany. Line your letters up, guys. <laughs> that's my tip of the day. There we go. 
Mother of the freaking year. And then this one here is probably my favorite piece. And it's the uh, Sorry Not Sorry. Because that was the big quote. I can't even remember what year that was. That that quote was a big thing. But. Not quote. Hashtag. <laughs> I loved it. I used to say it all the time. Probably more than I should have. <laughs> So we've got I'm that and then we've got the word mom and then we just got some hearts to glue on and then we are good to go. Hi Christy. There we go. I'm that mom. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> very accurate for me okay so then we just got a couple of hearts here that you can just add really anywhere and I feel like I'm gonna put one on either side here and this paint did not have a fabulous coverage on it but I have to say I'm kind of liking it it's a little bit more rustic I don't know if you guys can see some of the wood graining coming through, but it kind of gave it a weathered look and it looks really nice. So I just added a heart to either side there. Maybe I'll add a heart over, I wonder if, will a heart fit in my coffee cup? A heart does fit in my coffee cup. So I will put one in there. I'm sure on our website, there's a spot specifically meant for each heart. I like just taking my own little twist on things. And then I know that I used to be cool, hashtag mom life. It has no color on it, so I'm just going to stick a heart on there so that way it kind of matches in. All right. There we go. And then for a little bit of detailing, I'm going to take my silver Posca here. And I just put a little glisten on my heart and I'm gonna go around and do that to all of them it'll kind of tie them in together and doo -doo -doo. maybe I'll put a couple of dots around here and it'll just tie some of the silver in this piece here didn't need a lot oh and I definitely wanted to have a bit of a glisten going down the side of my wine glass. So I'm make sure that I do that. And then my glisten on that heart just makes it a little bit more like a glass, right? Maybe I'll continue the line even down here. There we go. Okay. Just give it a little bit more detailing because there's not a lot happening on that cup you could fill in all the letters and everything but we're going for a little bit more quick and easy today and then i just need to fix those two letters on my go ask your dad i just want to make sure that stick fast is good and dry and it is And there we go. So now that we've touched up our go ask your dad, that there is done. So I'm pretty sure, yeah, one tag, one of the stands is for the tag. And then the other one is for our wine glass. Now, if I had a spare moment, which I don't at the second, um, I would actually add our three inch easel stands to these 
because they're going to help them stand up better. And this one here would just lean on something, okay? So that is it. That is our set all done. I think it turned out so cute. You could glue these into the stands. I'm not going to because then it just makes it easier to pack things up. But I think it all turned out really, really cute. Did you guys enjoy this? I hope you did. I'm going to head out. I don't hear the laser going right now. So we're going to go and get the next project cutting. And uh, we will be back a little bit later on. I will chat with you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. You guys have a great day. Bye.